LV55 Media LLC presents Private Investigations Read Aloud, a chronological scene-by-scene -scene read-through of the Private Investigations Book 1 and Book 2 novel for the viewing community. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. As the four companions arrive at Megan's truck, Megan activates the alarm and unlocks the vehicle, allowing Jennifer to enter and claim shotgun. Samantha enters the back seat with her belongings and Nicole enters the back seat on the driver's side. Megan opens the trunk's tonneau cover and places her backpack in the bed, then enters the driver's seat. After placing the key in the ignition, Megan places her hands on the 10 and 2 on the steering wheel and begins staring through the front windshield in silence. Jennifer looks towards Megan perplexed, having noticed her awkward posture. What's the matter, Meg? Why aren't we going, she asks. Megan continues looking straight ahead, then takes a deep breath before looking towards her friend. <sighs> Jen, the next time you want to butt into personal business, keep it private just between us, okay? She demands, completely catching her best friend off guard, forcing a surprise look from her and as well as Samantha and Nicole. What are you talking about, Meg? If you're talking about me teasing you about Megan interrupts Jennifer from speaking, no, I'm talking about you giving your opinion when I was asking Donna to talk to my mom about my adoption papers yesterday, she angrily counters. Jennifer fires right back at Megan, although somewhat sarcastically. Well, weren't you doing the same thing you're accusing me of by going to Donna, she exclaims. It's not the same. Meg, I'm just looking out for your best interest. I have a cousin who Megan interrupts Jennifer from speaking again. I don't give a rat's ass about your cousin, she shouts, causing Jennifer to lift her hand up and point her finger towards Megan. Now you wait a minute, Jennifer yells out, drawing Samantha into the fray. Meg, that's not fair. That wasn't her intention, she remarks, causing Megan to turn her head around more and pointing her finger towards Samantha. Shut it down, Samantha, Megan shouts. I'm going to get to you next. Samantha scoffs while shaking her head and folding her arms across her chest, then turning her head and staring out the back seat window. Nicole, now nervous and panicked, tries to intervene and calm the situation between her friends. Guys, let's just chill out, she says, but Megan continues her verbal assault. Nicole, just stay out of this. This is between Jen and I. Oh, I get it now, Jennifer sarcastically says. Every time something big comes up in your life, you're afraid to ask any of us for help. Shut up, Jennifer, Megan yells, forcing Jennifer to come right back at her. Admit it, Megan. You're scared, she blurts out, and with an attitude to match. And you don't have all the answers this time, do you? Megan suddenly throws a backhanded punch towards Jennifer, but Jennifer reacts fast enough and blocks it with her arm at the same time that Nicole, sitting directly behind Megan, attempts to catch Megan's arm. Jennifer keeps her arms up in a defensive posture. Stop it, Megan, Nicole shouts. What's wrong with you, Jennifer shouts. M uh, Samantha attempts to intervene again. Megan, I've never seen you react like this before. Shut up, Samantha. Jennifer, Megan shouts in a demanding tone, get your ass out of the car. No, Jennifer defiantly declares. And why are you yelling at Sam? Jennifer, if you don't get your ass out of my car, Megan demands, I'm going to come around and drag it out. Megan opens the driver's side door and begins to step out of the car. Both Nicole and Samantha shout at Megan. Megan, don't do it, Nicole shouts. What are you doing, Samantha shouts. Jennifer grabs her purse and book bag from the front passenger floorboard and exits the truck, slamming the door behind her and walking away. Megan, you didn't have to do that. How's Sam supposed to get home, Samantha questions, appealing to her friend while opening her door and grabbing her backpack. She can walk, take the bus, call a cab. I don't care, Megan angrily answers. You're acting all crazy about this, Samantha responds. Glad you think I'm crazy, Samantha, Megan angrily counters. You can get your ass out of my car, too. Samantha scoffs, <laughs> opening the door and stepping out, then giving her girlfriend a glaring look before shaking her head and exiting the truck and slamming the door. There's a long period of silence in the vehicle now 
as Nicole somberly looks towards Megan through the rear view mirror before she finally speaks. Megan, you can take me home now. Nicole slowly opens her door, grabs her purse and backpack from the back seat and exits, walks around to the front passenger side of the vehicle and enters. As Megan starts her truck, Nicole stares out the window towards Jennifer and Samantha, who are staring back. As Megan's truck pulls out into traffic, it passes a parked silver Subaru BRZ with tinted windows, which also pulls out of its parking place and begins following. To learn more about Sam Aquino and the many other characters involved in these mysterious, intriguing, suspenseful, and coincidental fiction stories, purchase a copy of Private Investigations, Book 1 and Book 2, in one volume by visiting Doran's Publishing, available both in softcover and ebook formats. Also available at Amazon Books and Barnes & Noble.